The United States, like Russia, is firmly committed to fighting ISIL. That raises the question, could the U.S. and Russia end up working together in Syria? We asked a former U.S. State Department spokesman, P.J. Crowley. Well, when you think of the Islamic State, um, there is a shared interest there. But then you diverge in terms of what the solution is. Uh, the United States and Russia have kind of a, a, a Mars and Venus, you know, kind of different perspective on, on what the conflict in Syria represents. You know, the United States sees the aspirations of people who want self-determination. Russia sees chaos. And in looking at uh, Syria, it sees Chechnya. You know, and so Vladimir Putin believes that Assad is the only one who can keep Syria together uh, and keep uh, the country under control. And he's unwilling, at least up until now, to let go of Assad as, as, the, as, his, as his answer to what Syria should look like in the future. Thirty-five years, the Cold War, uh, Russia would do this, the United States would do that. Um, it was more a chess game. Do you see the U.S. getting more involved if Russia gets more involved? Well, I, I think, the, obviously, the, the, the relationship between the United States and Russia is severely strained. Uh, there are areas of profound disagreement, Bashar al-Assad being one, Ukraine, you know, being another. That said, you know, the United States and Russia, along with the other members of the P5 plus one, including China, you know, just helped to negotiate a, a very significant nuclear agreement you know, with Iran. So we, we, we have this, you know, push and pull. There are areas of cooperation and potentially fighting the Islamic State. That one dimension of the conflict is a shared interest. And, and that may well be the platform where at some point in time the United States, regional states, Iran, Russia can some, come to some sort of agreement on, on, uh, on the future of Syria. Unfortunately, we're not at that point yet. I, I want to uh, cite a couple of things from Pew and Gallup. Uh, Pew Research has tracked where Syria's foreign fighters are coming from, excluding the Islamic uh, majority countries. Russia has the most foreign fighters in Syria. Um, so y you touched on Chechnya. Uh, how serious is this as a concern for Russia, and is this what may be the guiding interest in what they're doing now? I think when Vladimir Putin looks at what's happened in what we used to call the Arab Spring, he sees chaos, and in seeing chaos uh, in the Islamic world, he thinks automatically, you know, of Chechnya, and that has been the foundation of his reaction to try to, to preserve uh, authoritarian leaders who could keep the lid on various countries, including Syria. That's still the prism through which he sees this conflict. Uh, and as long as he sees Assad able to survive, he's likely to continue, you know, to support him. Uh, Gallup did a poll of Americans a year ago asking if they supported Russia's involvement in Syria. Fifty-one percent, it's uh, more helpful than harmful. Uh, when it comes to U.S. involvement, six in ten Americans said they support U.S. military action. Could they, you talked about this push and pull, any possibility the two could come together, work together? Well, I mean, the, the complexity of Syria is, is it's not one conflict, it's several. You know, and so the United States is focused on the Islamic State. However, um, there, are, there are other conflicts, and, and, and Russia sees this in, in different ways. So I, I think we're not yet at a point where there's enough commonality that, that you know, there's, there's a change in calculation, whether it's by Russia or by, by Iran. That is certainly possible over time, and this conversation will continue. But unfortunately, while we, we think we know the solution, which is you know, a political settlement along the lines of the Geneva Principles, we don't right now have a path that gets us from where we are you know, to that eventual solution. P.J. Crowley, always a delight. Thanks so much. Thank